Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 Coupe with a 1LE package, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Here's a fast fact. The Camaro ZL1 was born in 1969 when enterprising dealers used Chevrolet's Copo special ordering system to create racing intended models powered by an aluminum 427 big block engine. Copo, by the way, stands for Central Office Production Order. The 2019 Chevy Camaro ZL1 challenges the most advanced sports coupes in the world with unprecedented levels of technology, refinement, track capability, and straight line acceleration. Track capability comes standard with features including 11 heat exchangers for optimal powertrain cooling. The 2019 Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 has the LT4 supercharged 6.2 liter V8 engine that's rated at 650 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque, and that comes with a 6-speed manual transmission and launch control. Now, you can get a 10-speed automatic, which is optional. Uh, that 10-speed automatic has paddle shifters, and it's actually upshifts faster than the Porsche PDK transmission, and well, of course, it does it for a lot less money. The ZL1 1LE Extreme Track Performance Package adds 19-inch forged aluminum wheels with wider tires, special race-oriented suspension dampers, a carbon fiber hood and rear spoiler, and tinted taillights. With the ZL1 1LE Package, a fixed rear seat is also available. Okay, let's talk about what's new for 2019 with the uh, Camaro ZL1 sports car. Uh, let's talk about the Chevrolet infotainment system with 8-inch color touchscreen. Now, uh, navigation is available. Uh, the system offers greater personalization and more intuitive user interface. Uh, it leverages cloud connectivity to enhance personalization, navigation, voice recognition, apps, and more. Other notable updates and, uh, for 2019 is improved wireless charging feature. There's now an improved wireless charging feature. We can see Apple CarPlay is available, Android Auto is available, and like I already stated, now there's an available navigation. Other things include um, there's a new dual element tail lamps and rear fascia. There's revised ambient lighting uh, with new blended color choices, uh, and there's a forward collision alert now that's available but that only comes in coupe models there's also been enhancements to the performance data recorder as well okay let's talk performance specs for the 2019 chevrolet camaro zl1 all right zero to 60 in this bad boy comes in 3.5 seconds the quarter mile this car does the quarter mile in 11.4 seconds at 127 miles an hour. As far as cornering grip is concerned, we're talking 1.02 G-forces here. <laughs> Forgot the word. Uh, braking comes in 0 to 60, or 60 to 0 braking comes in 107 feet. Uh, handling, let's talk about handling. you got lightweight, stiff structure of the Gen 6 Camaro. It's married with specially calibrated magnetic ride suspension and electronic limited slip differential, as it's stated right down here. And since we stated the other two things, electronic limited slip, magnetic ride control, let's talk about those large Brembo brakes. We've got large Brembo brakes up front, uh, six piston up front, and you got four piston uh, Brembos out back. You've got standard Recaro front seats along with suede flat bottom steering wheel and shift knob. There's, uh, of course, the Chevrolet Performance Data Recorder. That's available. It doesn't come standard. There's that 8-inch color touchscreen, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. We know about all that. You can even do the 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot, and that even comes with a one-month trial when you buy the vehicle brand new. Let's talk highlights real quick for the ZL1 with the 1LE package. If you get the 1LE package, here are the highlights. Carbon fiber rear wing, specific air deflectors, and dive planes on the front fascia that produce grip generating downforce to help the car stick harder and drive faster in turns. There is racing derived lightweight uh, dynamic suspension valve dampers for the front and rear for exceptional wheel and vehicle control. There's adjustable front end ride height, uh, adjustable camber plates, adjustable three-way rear stabilizer bar. Uh, you've got 19 by 11 inch tires in front and 19 by 12 inch uh, uh, wheels in the back these are aluminum wheels they're 305 size 30 19s up front and 325 30 19s out back 
they're rolling on this car is rolling on Goodyear Eagle F1 Supercar 3R tires uh, that contributes to that max lateral grip. All right, so that's that's part of the reason why it's got so much grip. Uh, there's lighter wheels and dampers along with thinner rear glass and a fixed back seat, uh, and that contributes to approximately about 60 pounds less weight than the standard ZL1 Coupe. There's also dual zone automatic climate control, Bose premium audio system, heated ventilated front seats, and heated steering wheel. That's all standard. That's all standard when you get the uh, 1LE package. That's pretty cool. Some other notable technology features, heads-up display and a driver mode selector. Uh, in addition to that, we've got some standard safety features. Uh, that includes uh, standard airbags, include dual-stage frontal uh, thorax side impact and knee airbags for the driver and front passenger. Coupe model also include head curtain side impact airbags. There's a rear park assist, rear cross traffic alert, and side blind zone alert with lane change alert. All standard. That's pretty cool. Four collision alert on coupe models. We already kind of talked about that. Other notable safety features include standard rear vision camera and rear camera mirror, Stabilitrack electronic stability control system, and front safety belt pre-tensioners. Okay, let's get into this build of our 2019 Camaro ZL1 Coupe. We're going to go ahead and put the 1LE package on it. I did this review a little bit different because I've done a lot of Camaros lately and I've been putting up links as I've been doing the intro. Be sure to click and watch some of these links. I put up a, I did a recent building price of the 2019 Chevy Camaro with the 1SS Coupe with a wicker package. I just did a live walk around review the other day of a 2017 Chevy Camaro. Uh, within a beautiful blue you gotta see that I put the link up already I also did a review of this vehicle the 2018 ZL1 last year I put a link up to that as well and I also put a link up or I'm putting a link up to this competitors car this 2018 or I did the 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon which certainly competes with this car alright so we're gonna get ready to do our build and price uh, and I said it way in the beginning that we we're going to check out the features and learn about the configurations. Well, it does come in two configurations, either coupe or convertible. Uh, so we're going to go with the coupe and know the MSRP is not $25,000. The MSRP on a ZL1 starts at $64,195. Now let's go and select our trim. Okay, our trim's already been selected for us. It's the ZL1. We know by default it comes with the six-speed manual transmission. The price on that, $62,995. I would like to go. They've got it listed with the eight-speed paddle shift, but we know that it's a 10-speed paddle shift. Uh, I'd like to go with the 10-speed paddle shift transmission, right? That's going to throw us up to $64,590. So let's move on. Before we move on, I just want to make sure that I wasn't getting quirky. Yeah, here we go. It's right here. Available 10-speed paddle shift automatic. So even though so there's a mistake on the website where they still have 8-speed uh, automatic transmission listed or they just haven't updated or whatever the case, but we've got it right. It's a 10-speed paddle shift. Let's move on. You know, the Summit White, because now we've moved on to colors, we got to pick our color for our ZL1. The Summit White's pretty cool. I like the Summit right, White. Let's actually go through the colors. There's Red Hot. There's Satin Steel Gray. Ah, you have to remove the red seatbelts if you want that one. Uh, there's a Silver Ice Metallic. There's a Summit White. There's Mosaic Black. There's Black. Uh, there's a Shadow Gray Metallic, there's, which isn't bad, actually. That's actually pretty good looking. There's a Riverside Blue. Uh, which we require us to remove the red seatbelt, so we're not going to go ahead and take a look at that. There's an orange. All right, let's go ahead and just select it. There's an orange. There's a shock. Uh, and then there's a garnet red tent coat. Let's look at those two colors that we didn't see because of the seatbelts. That's the Riverside Blue. And then I think it was the Satin Steel Gray. So all the colors are actually pretty cool. I'll be honest with you. I'm partial to the Summit White. Right, so that requires us to put that seatbelt back. I'm partial to the Summit White, and I also like the black. But you know what? I think I'm going to go with the Summit White. We're going to do ours in Summit White. It's not a premium color; it's a standard color. I don't think we're going to do any accent stripes or anything like that. Interior color looks to be only one way: jet black with red accent uh, seat trim. So let's go and check on some packages. 
Of course, right off the jump for $7,500, we're going to get the ZL1 1LE Track Performance Package. It's going to remove some things that we don't need and throw on everything else. We're all over it. Um, so that's $7,500. Now we're looking at $73,690. And yeah, that's not that's not cheap. But considering the performance level of this car and what it's capable of doing, it's actually a bargain when you compare it to other vehicles. I had just stated that it actually upships faster than a Porsche PDK. Well, even a base model Porsche with the slowest engine in it starts at a higher MSRP than this car is going to top out at. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. Let's go move on to exterior. We're not going to make a whole bunch of ch uh, choices on the exterior because we went with the 1LE package, which changed our wheels from 20-inch to 19-inch wheels. It gave us the different Goodyear Eagle tires. Um, we have the paddle shifters. Do we need the battery protection package? Why not? Because this car might not. You know what? Mine won't need the battery protection package because I'm going to drive mine every day. Uh, the wheel locks, $95. That's cheap insurance. Although if somebody really wants your ZL1, they're probably going to take it. Uh, power sunroof, yeah, why not? Let's throw that in. Uh, ooh, we had to remove the 1LE package to do that. So no, I guess we're not going to go with a power sunroof. Uh, we're not going to change any of the fuel filler doors. They're fine the way they are. Do we need a premium vehicle cover? Probably, but we're not going to mess with one. The reality is you can get one at the dealer at the parts counter at any time. So let's move on to the interior. Let's bump up to the better Chevrolet infotainment system. They call it uh, Chevrolet Infotainment 3 Premium System with navigation and 8-inch uh, color touchscreen. That's awesome. We've got the Recaro Performance Bucket Seats. We've got the rear bench seat. We do want that. Uh, the all-weather floor mats. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab those all-weather floor mats. Now, this says embroidered center console lid. Let's take a look at the photo. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. I like that. That's three and a quarter. Let's throw that on there. The performance data recorder. Yeah, I want that for $1,300. We've already got the remote start. What is this? Carbon style shift knob for the automatics or carbon style shift knob for the manual. Yeah, I want to do that. Uh, we're going to do a lot of carbon fiber. Carbon fiber instrument panel. Yep, want that. There you have an all-weather cargo mat for the very back. So let's do that. Uh, the cargo net. Ah, we don't need to mess with that. But we've got all the carbon fiber, though. Can we enlarge this photo? Uh, yeah, we can. We can see the carbon fiber here. I don't see any carbon fiber on the shift knob, but uh, it all looks very, very, very nice in here. Okay, last but not least, before we move on to the summary, we've got to check out the accessories. And just like famous General, Motor accessor General Motors accessories, Chevrolet's General Motors, as is Cadillac and Buick and GMC, uh, we are going to skip over the accessories. Why? Here's why. Because they sell us things like a 61-piece toolkit. That's unrelated to a Camaro or any vehicle. So we skip over all that stuff. So that said, let's just move on to the summary. Um, I'm going to go ahead and print off this build summary. So if you like the way that I've spec'd out this 2019 Camaro ZL1 with the 1LE package, you can download the build summary in the description below right now. Okay, so life for this vehicle started at $62,000 basically. Now with everything that we've put on it, we're out the door at $76,865 for, well, let's be honest, a lot of vehicle. Hey, nice shot there of the interior. Let's go ahead and look at the exterior to go ahead and wrap this video up. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with this car. I have discovered that I love Camaros. I am absolutely in love Camaro with Camaros. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. This car is awesome. I think it's worth every dime, period. That enough said. I'm going to wrap the video up. Thank you for joining me. Be sure to download the build summary if you're interested in that. Be sure to take a look at all my other Camaro videos. Go ahead and click that little I, that little information icon up in the corner. You'll be able to see all the videos. And uh, yeah, thank you. I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day. And I will see you on the very next video. Thanks for watching.